Hello Army of Light Earth Division, it's Shauna L. Francis and today is February 25th, 2023. Here we are gang already to the end of another month in 2023. <clears throat> I'm definitely feeling like I'm in some kind of a time warp and it's felt like that for, oh I don't know, a year or so. <laughs> um, thanks for being here team. I'm channeling Queen Elizabeth. And it's been pretty rough. We had a really um, tough channeling yesterday where she went into detail about the rituals, the blood rituals with the children. Um, horrifying. You know, this is all being driven by the negative reptili reptilian regime who's really pulling the strings, the puppeteers on the back end, here controlling humans through their hive mind system. Today's channeling tough also, really tough for different reasons. Um, anyway, thanks for all your love and support. Yesterday's video was the most watched video within however many hours, 20 hours of any video that I've um, put out so far. So we're reaching a wider audience here. And uh, I think things are going to be changing pretty soon in terms of the kind of folks who are watching, the... Um, audience is going to grow, I imagine. Before I get into the channeling with Elizabeth today, I want to let you know that Prince Harry has announced that he's going to be doing a live virtual event talking with a, a doctor who is um, known for trauma, addiction, stress, and childhood development. He's an expert in these areas. So people People Magazine in the US, people.com. <clears throat> you can check this out. This event is happening this Saturday the 4th. That's my dad's birthday, actually. Um, it, I went ahead and bought a ticket, actually. And with the ticket, you get to do the one hour live event with Harry and this doctor. Trauma, I just love, I love what he's doing. And uh, you also get a hard copy of his book. And they are collecting questions uh, that they want to answer live during this event and it's not recorded and you know they don't want anybody posting any part of it um, anywhere that this is it's strictly prohibited but I wanted to um, read you a couple of things here <clears throat> during this intimate conversation the pair meaning Harry and this doctor will discuss living with loss and the importance of personal healing and then they'll answer questions from the audience. And here's something else I wanted to read you what um, Harry said. He says, I'm looking ahead and am optimistic for what's to come. I have a beautiful and blessed life, one that comes with a platform and with it a responsibility that Megan and I plan to use wisely. I feel I am exactly where I am meant to be and exactly where we, my family, are meant to be. I don't think I could have written this book otherwise. I um, I love this. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I really love this. Um, I'm listening to Spare, his book, on Audible. Um, he says here, my hope, my hope has been to turn my pain into purpose. So if sharing my experience makes a positive difference in someone's life, well, I can't think of anything more rewarding than that. Sounds a lot like his mom, right? All right, so again, uh, people.com, People the Magazine here in the U.S. Um, putting on this event for this Saturday. It's going to be streamed over Vimeo. All right, so I want to let you know about that. <clears throat> okay, so Elizabeth here. We had some pleasantries today. Uh, we It's not a whole lot. I would say maybe 1,500 words, but we got through it in like an hour and a half. Um, yesterday took about two and a half hours today, an hour and a half, and it's really heavy. It's really heavy. I cried a lot today. And I was actually feeling pretty darn good when I sat down, but I'm telling you like right now, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm, I'm a little on edge. I'm a little afraid after yesterday and then today. So really, um, want to make sure that I am feeling grounded and focusing on my internal process here, bringing in the light, asking for help, making sure I've got lots of physical support here on this plane of existence. <laughs> um, and you guys really help 
you're everything. I mean, you're really helping me get through this process. Um, even, you know, what I'm doing is even surpassing what even some of the people who are closest to me can really be present for. It's even stretching them. So that's okay. We're moving full steam ahead, team. We're doing this. All right. I, she said here, Shauna, the Mountbatten bloodline and the disclosure from yesterday about the deplorable and atrocious blood practices that they've been engaging in for hundreds of years has made quite an impact on the collective. So I assume here that she is either able to tune into our collective and you know, it's everybody, it's the boots on the ground, it's you guys, it's this smaller collective that we have assembled here that's really helping to bring this information here, anchoring it in light and love, unconditional love, right? So she's saying it's it's made quite an impact on the collective. <clears throat> Excuse me, she said, I would like to take this opportunity to address some of the concerns, questions, comments that have been raised. Are you okay with this, Shauna? And I said, absolutely. Please continue when you're ready. She said, Shauna, I'd first... I'd like to first start with the questions pertaining to me, who I was as Queen Elizabeth in my last lifetime. She said here, the reason why I know such sickening and distressing detail about these practices with the children is because I was forced to watch these activities on three separate occasions. She said here, I was placed in the locations where this was happening in person, hidden in the corner, shielded from view from the others in the room. I never actively participated in any of these rituals with the children. However, I could see it. I could hear it. I could smell it. I could feel the energies. She said here, um, what is so unconscionable to me now was nothing short of a requirement at that level in the royal bloodline. She said here, the observing of these horrific acts were not of my conscious choice. This was demanded through the hive mind control. These rituals are what deeply binds the hive mind humans to the hive leadership. The hive mind humans are in service to the negative reptilians who orchestrate all of this for their benefit. It also contributes to a feeling of oneness within the hive mind human group itself. She says here, those activities greatly impact the other humans in the grip of the hive mind control. So she's explained this before where you have a few people who are involved in these types of rituals and it impacts their collective, you know, the hive mind human collective. They all benefit, quote unquote, benefit, she says that here in a second, um, from that, from the energy, from that activity. She said here, the energy, the fear energy that's generated in these acts impact everyone on the planet connected to the hive mind control system via the negative reptilian overlords. I wish I could say that as I sat there in the dark corner observing these crimes, that I screamed out, that I demanded it to stop. I protested, I wept, but I did none of these things, she said. For I also was not human in these moments. Through my observation and my participation in that way, I was serving the negative reptilians. And there's a big pause here again. She said, Shauna, I am still trying to reconcile this for myself. Could I not have done something, anything to stop this carnage? What had I become? 
I don't even recognize that person. I can't relate to that person. I believe, she said, that I will be forever mourning the loss of life, the loss of innocence, the, di the completely disgusting, inhumane, and unconscionable acts that I witnessed. She said here, <clears throat> I may never forgive myself. I will carry this burden for a very, very long time. She said, a part of my soul will forever be crying over what I saw, what I felt, what I experienced in those moments, and my inaction and my inability to stop it from happening. <clears throat> she says here, this is why I have vowed to serve the light only and to do now what I was unable to do then, to speak out, to take action, and to help be a major catalyst that brings down this regime once and for all. I am still sickened by this, Shauna, the depravity. It's very, very heavy on my heart. I said, I'm so sorry, Elizabeth. I'm so very sorry. Um, blessed be our souls, I said. I said, please continue whenever you're ready. She said, Shauna, the most crushing part of all of this is that the negative reptilians who demand this of their human subjects consider this to be one big game, a big laugh. Knowing this deepens my resolve to rise against this, to speak up against their practices. I will forever be working tirelessly to rid this planet and any planet in any plane of existence of this control system, of this influence, of this exploitation. They may have cast their spells wide and deep, but they are not infallible. Just the opposite, she said. Through their darkness and depravity, they are weak against the light, against love. It's in the knowing of this and the believing in this that will tip the scales to the light. And we'll all watch as these institutions disintegrate, fall apart, and crumble. She said, I hope too, Shauna, that those who received this message can find it in their heart to forgive me for what I did and for what I didn't do. And she just, it was a really big pause here. Um, I said, please continue whenever you're ready, Elizabeth. And I was just getting nothing. So I, I mean, I was, I was really feeling, really just feeling so, I was feeling pretty distraught over this. I went ahead and I did a, <clears throat> a prayer. I said a prayer to God at this time. It's pretty long. I guess I'm, I'm going to read this to you. Follow along with me and you can replace the word God with whatever you'd like to say there. Um, and I was crying a lot during this. I'm really feeling it. Um, I said, Dear God, please bless our souls. All of us who have been in this situation before, bless all the souls who want to break free from this control, who want to step into their sovereignty and freedom on behalf of the light. Please, dear God, assist those souls. Please bless those souls. Please bless Queen Elizabeth as she tries to atone for what she's done. Please bless me as I do the same. Please continue to hold us in your hearts with unconditional love as we work through such difficult and almost unspeakable truths that we've experienced. Please hold our hands as we walk this path together. Please help protect and guide us. Please lift us to our feet 
when we feel the weight is so heavy we can no longer move forward. Please help us to see the truth in every situation. Help us to work past this illusion, past the fear, the anger, the remorse, the regret, the shame, the guilt that we may all still be harboring because of our past actions. Please help us satisfy our karmic debt as quickly as possible so that others may follow in our footsteps. Let our prayers be heard. Let our prayers be answered. And may we give a voice and give a presence to those who are unable to speak for themselves. We know they are screaming. We know they're screaming. Allow us to be their voices. Allow us to be their presence through this process. Allow us to speak on their behalf. Please bless the Galactic Federation of Light who is helping to balance out the light here on this plane. Bless all the humans who have come down at this time to help with this particular part of the mission. May we all be free from our guilt and shame for any past participation with this regime on any level, in any way, shape, or form. Please release any pain, deeply held beliefs, shame, trauma. Please help us release our trauma so that our vibrations may be as high as possible. God, please help us stay on this path no matter how hard it gets. No matter how forceful this regime tries to stop what we are doing, Please give us the strength, the hope, the inspiration to see this through to the very end. With appreciation, amen. All right. And I said, please continue, Elizabeth, whenever you're ready. <clears throat> She said, Shauna, our time is running short. I said, what do you mean by this, Elizabeth? And I was really feeling a pressure in my chest and an uneasiness in my gut. And this time, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was mine. Other times when I felt this anxiety, it hasn't been mine. But I think today it was definitely feeling like it was mine. Our time is running short, she said. Um, she said, Shauna, our time is short because the negative reptilian leaders know who and what we are. Shauna, they know what we're doing. They are hatching plans as we speak to squash not only our dialogue, but the mission at large. She said here, we know that they are ruthless. They don't care. They don't play fair. And losing is not an option for them. The nature of how we are working together, the cadence of our meetings, the mechanisms by which we release this information will be challenged. And we may find that soon we will need to reevaluate re how we approach this work. And at that point, I felt my energy go quite a bit deeper. She said here, we will release as much information as possible, as quickly as possible. As has been explained previ previously, this is a multifaceted plan. Many moving pieces, Shauna. Excuse me. Many players, many aspects, all in motion all coordinated for the most positive outcome. She said, it's a sincere honor and a pleasure, Shauna, to have you as a partner through this process, united in mission and purpose. I said, thank you, Elizabeth. <laughs> I said, I'm very honored and humbled as well. She said, thank you, Shauna. This feels complete for me today. <coughs> Excuse me. So, Twice now she has said that the reason why she 
actually did not participate in these rituals herself is because it's too much of a liability for the monarchy to have the reign, you know, her as reigning queen to have been participating. And she was queen at what, 25 years old? Um, and she also mentioned it in regard to King Charles now being the reigning king. He will not be uh, actively participating in those rituals, though he may sit in on them like she had to do. Um, so that was th that was the reasoning she gave she gave for that. Um, I mean, I know there's still a lot more questions. Um, she also said previously that um, the bulk of what she is going to want to disclose will be done by springtime. We're you know we're at the end of February, so what a few more weeks of this maybe not long. Um, also. I have a feeling that um, I'll be putting all of this into a book and that may be kind of the next phase of how this information is released. I'm not exactly sure. I'm just getting a sense for it. Um, another thing I was getting a sense for as she was talking about her watching these rituals is I believe that she was watching Prince Philip as part of this. I, I saw him very clearly you know, and she doesn't have a whole lot of nice things to say about Prince Philip. <clears throat> All right. Well, this was pretty, pretty heavy today. Um, I'm definitely feeling it. Thanks everybody for supporting us, for supporting me, for all your beautiful comments. <laughs> I, I am, I'm so appreciative of, of what you're doing and sticking it out with me this far. Many of you have been around since the beginning when I first started channeling here to an two and a half years ago. Is that right? I lose track. Um, all right. Don't forget to check out Harry and this uh, live call that he's going to be doing with this trauma expert. <laughs> I just love this. Okay, team, take care of yourselves. I love you. I expect to see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm.